Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to go over how I think the best way you should progress is with regards to the new content that was just released a couple of days ago. Now, what is this content I'm talking about? Well, we have all these new dungeons now that go up to T15, and we have potentials now that go up to, uh, you know, up to 20. We have divinities. So what should you focus on? How should you go about leveling up your characters? You know, I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think you should be doing. So um, if you look at all the different contents, right? Like, I mean, the major things that were released were these dungeons and everything that comes after that is how you can, like, for example, I mean, now we have um, elixir dungeons that go up to T15. So therefore we have better potentials. Um, but with everything else, like, like, for example, if you are focusing on potentials and characters, you really need to think about who you want to maximize, right? Like, do you want to go PVE or PV, PVP? And so on and so on. So in my opinion, the best thing that you should be focusing on is this rune dungeon. And there are two reasons for it. The first one is that I think this is the easiest dungeon out of, um, you know, all, well, the three of these. The experience one and the gold one isn't as important as the others. Uh, these are the three that you really want to be focusing on. Um, and of these, I think the rune dungeon is the easiest one to do. Um, I was able to tackle it like right away. I, um, it, it, there's these like, you know, these small turtle things that come forward. Um, and I, I don't even bother killing them. I, I don't like, it's supposed to make the boss a little bit harder to kill or something, but I don't really feel like that's the case. I just, you know, I make sure I target the boss, uh, and just kill him and avoid the rock tomb. And that was ma mainly it. He was the easiest of the three by far. Um, and, um, you know, because of that reason, that's the first reason that I recommend focusing on this guy, because you can uh, try to unlock the T15 of the rune dungeon as soon as possible and start getting these runes and, and level up your divinity. And the second reason I recommend that is because these divinities are actually going to give you such a huge boost. Um, now, you don't actually want to look at the second or third page. You want to just focus on the first page and you really want to focus on the hard stats. And what do I mean by hard stats? I'm talking about attack, defense, possibly even HP, um, and then crit rate and crit damage. I think those are the main stats that you want to focus on. Everything else comes after, you know, like if you're missing these uh, red crystals or something, as you can see, I only have one of them and you need a lot of them to level up these things. So if you are missing those crystals, then maybe you can start, you know, leveling up the other things like I have started doing, like I started getting everything up, up to level 11. Um, but the reason why I think this is what you should be focusing on is because this is going to affect everyone. Right, so uh, my attack at uh, level 10 was I think 600 something, right? And at level 14, it has already gone to 892 and at level 15 is gonna go to 991. So it's about, you know, 300, 300 odd, maybe 350 attack more or something for everyone, like all of your units, right? Uh, where if you look at the potential difference, it's about the same too. Like at level 15, I have 1008 attack and at level 20, it goes up to 1,310. So by getting my potential from 15 to 20, it increases attack by 300. But that's the same thing as increasing my divinities from um, from 10 to 15. But the good thing about divinities is it affects everybody, right? I don't have to pick and choose. Like, I don't have to go with, oh, should I choose Kazette or should I choose like a PV PvP character? I, I don't have to make that decision. It's everybody. So if you're focusing on this one first, if you're focusing on, um, you know, getting your divinities up and trying to get these as much as possible, that is going to definitely make your, uh, make your life easier when it comes to tackling the other dungeons, because this is going to, you know, boost all your stats in total. And uh, don't, you know, don't spread them out. Don't, don't, don't go, you know, attack, and then like everything, don't go attack, HP, defense, like don't go like this. Don't don't use the auto enhance. Just focus on attack, focus on defense, focus on maybe crit rate and crit damage. Um, uh, and if you have, you know, if you have max those up to as much as you can and you're waiting on these uh, crystals, you, you don't have enough crystals, then you can think about the other things. Like HP might be something that you might maybe consider because, you know, a little bit more HP, like, you know, maybe a thousand, two thousand HP. Sure, it does make a little bit of difference. So that is arguable like you know if you already looked at the others maybe that's the next thing you can consider but the other stats like for example combo resistance combo rate i i wouldn't focus on those unless you don't have the like you know maybe it's okay to level them up to level 11 because going from 10 to 11 only uses the crystals you don't need these uh 
Actually, you can go up to 12, I guess, because after, um, at 13 is when you start needing these like red crystals, uh, these destruction stones. So until, um, until, tw until 13 is okay. So you can, if you're, if you're short of these destruction stones, then you can level everything else up to, up to 12. But I would just focus on the other ones that I mentioned, because that is really what's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. Um, and so once you've started doing that, uh, you, you know, when I say focus on that, like spend most of your energy on it, but still do the best that you can for the soul stones, do the best that you can for the elixirs. Um, if you can only get up to say, uh, you know, like T13 or something, that's fine. Do T13, right? But the divinities is what you want to focus on and maximize first. And then after that, um, you can start focusing on elixirs. Uh, now elixirs, you really have to make a decision on what you have to do because, you know, you get so much elixirs, um, where are you going to spend it? On which character and what stats are you going to spend it? So I'm going to talk about the average player here. I'm going to say that the average player who is not like, you know, the top 100 players, but maybe the top 1,000 players or something, right? You guys are probably not aiming to be, you know, at the, you know, like 5,500 superior or something. You're not, you're not aiming for that. You're aiming for something like maybe 5,000, maybe even 4,500. Uh, so you guys don't really care too much about being the top end of PvP. And PVE is more important. And even me personally, like I'm trying to get to 5,500, but I still focused on PVE first. So the first thing I did when I when I got enough potentials is I looked at my main PVE character and I raised her attack up to 20. Um, everything else I, I I haven't invested at all. Like everything else you can see is still 15, 15, 15. Uh, the second thing I invested in, I, I was looking at Rudy and I leveled up his defense a little bit. But the first thing I focused on was leveling up my main PvE character. And for me, that's Cosette. And I think that's going to be, uh, for most of the people there, I think that's going to be Cosette. But some people might have somebody else. Like you might use um, Evan instead, or you might even use Shane. Um, who are all, you know, all, all three of them are very high, uh, you know, very high DPS characters. And you might be focusing on any of those three. So whoever you're focusing on, whoever you think is going to be the carry of your game and the first unit that you need to maximize to deal with PvE content, level up their attack to 20. Because leveling up the attack to 20 and doing you know, harder content, getting more elixirs, getting more soul stones, is eventually going to help you to push further in PvP. Um, you, you eventually want to be getting a lot of soul stones. You want to raise as many characters as you can. So soul stones is becoming a big part of the game. Uh, I mean, if if you look at myself, like I bought a ton of these soul stones. Uh, like you can see the the ones that say sold out. Like I bought all of the uh, L plus characters, and then I also bought several of the L characters as well. I bought you know two of Adele, two of Noha, sorry Noho, and two of Lena. So that's, you know, that's a lot of soul stones that I'm using. So I really want to maximize the soul stone gain. And I'm assuming that most players are probably going to be in a similar situation as well. So you want to push PVE as much as possible. And so I think the biggest bang for your buck is to focus on the attack potential for your main PVE damage dealer. Once you did that, once that's level 20, like don't even worry about, uh, you know, the other stats like defense or HP, get get that attack to 20 first, you know, first and foremost. And then if you find yourself, you know, dying a lot, then go with defense. Like maybe it might even make sense to go like a little bit of defense in um, in everyone, uh, like, you know, your main four man team or something. Uh, so if you look at my my um, my my dungeon, for example, I am using these four characters, right? So for me, maybe it, it might make sense to level up the defense for all four of them to 17 if I find that they're just dying a lot. Um, if I look at something like Elixir, right? Rachel is my main tank in Elixir. And if I find she's dying a lot, maybe it's okay to bring up her defense to, to 17. Maybe it's okay to bring up everyone's defense to 17. I wouldn't go past 17. I, I would stick with... Uh, like 17 is the highest I would go with right now. Like when I, when I am looking at defenses and HP and trying to spread it out, but, uh, definitely focus on the attack of your main character first and then defense and HP, you can kind of, maybe you can spread it around with your, your main four characters and, and go up to 17 to, to help them survive a bit better. But most of your defenses and HP should actually be coming from your divinities, not your potentials, uh, your potential Again, my opinion, my, my, my personal opinion, my advice is to focus on that main 
uh, DPS character and and get it up to twenty. So what what if you're in like the, say the top hundred, you know, arena and you want to really focus on on PvP? Um, then I mean, if you are in that in that stage, like if you are in the top hundred in arena, most likely you've been doing well in the game for a while, and you probably have a huge stockpile of tickets. Um, one example I can give you is personally, if I look at my gold vault ticket, I have like 289 because gold was never a problem for me. So you might actually be in a similar situation as well. You might have a huge stock well. You might have like 100 to 200 of these tickets uh, because you are, you know, like you've just always been in the top 100 arena. So you always had an abundance of resources. So if you are a player like that and you have a ton of resources left over, then sure, you, you can, you know, spread it out and you can spread it out amongst your PvE, sorry, your PvP characters. Um, and what is the most optimum way to uh, maximize these resources? I would go 20 in one stat, 17 and 17 in the other two stats. Uh, 20 in the one stat would probably be the main main stat that you want to go for. Like, for example, if I'm looking at Rudy, right, like the L Rudy, I really want his defense to be maximized. So I would go 20 defense, and then maybe I would go 17 attack and 17. Um, well, actually, his attack doesn't really matter for him because Rudy doesn't really care about attack. Okay, so that, that's a bad example. Let me go with somebody like Chris, right? Uh, if I am planning to build Chris more defensively, maybe I can go like 20 defense and then 17 attack, 17 HP, right? Because I'm going for like a, a tanky build or something. Um, if I'm going for an attack build, like if I'm if I'm if I'm using Shane in Arena a lot and I want to bring up her her attack mostly, then I would go 20 attack, 17 defense, 17 HP. Uh, you know, overall, that that's that's the build that I would go for right now when I'm spreading, um, spreading these potentials around, because these potentials at, at the beginning level they're easy, but they soon start to require quite an investment. Like I only need a hundred to go from fifteen to sixteen. I, I'm just gonna level up. Um, let me just level up his HP, and then it goes from sixteen to seventeen, three hundred and fifty. But after that, like you can see, like 18 to 19, I need 1,600. So that's like 16 times more than going from 15 to 16, right? So uh, um, like leveling up one stat to 20 is, is a huge amount of resources. So that's why I would just focus at 17 right now um, for most of your units and then uh, level up the main stat to 20 and then afterwards spread it around a bit more. That That's my advice. Now, what about soul stones? I mean, I think most players are at least able to do like a couple of levels. Like you can probably do at least 12 or 13. Um, definitely when you're doing it for the first time and you know, like suppose you have not beaten T14, right? Uh, you have only been able to do T13. Every single day I would still, you know, attempt and, and do the actual battle. I, I would not use the clear if you have not cleared it fully. The reason for that is because if you look at the T13 reward at S, I get, uh, 52 legendary soul stones, right? At the next tier, at D, I get the same thing. I get 52. So as long as I, I'm able to get a little bit higher than D, like even if I go to C, I get a better reward than the previous tier. So instead of clearing, like instead of auto clearing the previous level, I would always try the next level and go as high as I can. Even if I can't guess, get S, if I can get A or B or C, it's still better than the auto clear S reward from the previous level. And I would do as much of this as I can. I, th I thought it was pretty difficult to actually do T15 for this dungeon. Um, so, I mean, I, I had to really like, you know, min and max and figure out a strategy. And personally playing on the phone, I wasn't even able to run back in time. So I, I found it quite a bit of challenge. And the way I could eventually do it was to use a lot of revives and immortals and use the immortal from Rachel's pet. And that's how I was eventually able to do it. Um, but, I did it without any divinity or potential upgrade because I, I wanted to just use the base base stats and and see if it's possible and and go for it. So I'm gonna assume that you know most players that don't have access to the stuff type of stuff that I do, like for example, if you don't have revive accessories, immortal accessories, you know, do as much as you can. Like if you can only do T12, do T12, but instead focus on as I said divinities and elixirs and get those up as high as possible. And um, then, you know, once those are leveled up, then attempt and, and get this up to, you know, T13, then 14, then 15, right? If you can't do T15 of the Soul Storms right away, don't worry about it. You, you still have, you know, you can easily do it later on. 
um, there's a very popular uh, YouTuber. I think his name is Happy Buddha. If you look at his uh, run for T15, he he has he had like level 60 units, and he was able to do this within like less than a minute, I think, because he I think like I think he already leveled up the potentials and divinities, and also these units were also level 60 because I mean in Korea they they got the order of these different I think, so. Um, like he was able to do it in less than a minute. Like for me, I had to like by the time I finished it, I was, I think like maybe ten seconds left on the clock or something like that. Like I was really cutting it close to three minutes. But if I had leveled up my divinities, if I had leveled up my potentials, this would have been a lot easier for me to do. And so that would be the same story for you as well. Like if you don't have the things that I have right now, but if you focus on these two things and and get those stats up, because it is a huge chunk, right? Like you can get three hundred attack from from rune uh, from the divinities and then an additional 300 attack from the elixirs that's 600 extra attack which is the same as like a a weapon right like a weapon gives me uh okay it gives me 1600 but okay 30 percent of a weapon's attack it, it, it's a lot right so um you know it, it, it is going to like right now if you haven't leveled up divinities and potential it is going to seem like quite a challenge but as you're doing it it should become like you know any other daily that you do um and and you should be able to do it you know sooner than you think right so that's that's my advice that's how i would um how i would go you know with the progression of this now there was a question that somebody asked me uh, on my earlier video about soul stones and what does that green circle mean so when you're doing the soul stone from t 11 to t15 there's a green circle that spawns if you were able to get in that circle you get an extra damage boost but if you saw the video when i was tackling it i wasn't always able to get it and have my unit stay there and be safe so if i could get it i would try to move Cosette there uh but if i couldn't i would just you know keep attacking and just keep running around with lena and uh you know tanking with lena and letting everyone else attack so that, that green thing isn't necessary, but it does help. Like if you're missing a little bit of extra damage to to beat the next level, that standing in that green circle might make the difference. Um, one other final note I want to say is about Lena. Uh, now several dungeons, especially the Elixir dungeon and the Soulstone dungeon for T15, I was not able to do without without Lena's um, without using Lena, uh, because Lena has an extra 14% attack boost, which I found really helpful for this. Um, so what if you don't have Lena? Like, how, how necessary is it? If she if you have her, I think it's... Uh, I think you'll have an easier time doing this if you have her because of the extra attack boost. And these things are starting to have a lot of HP and a lot of defense. So it's definitely going to help you. But if you don't have her, you know, don't worry about it. Because, again, I did it without the the divinity and potential boost. So the extra 600 attack from divinities and potentials is going to be more than the difference of an extra 14% attack that you're getting from her um, from her passive, right? So if you have her, it is going to help, but there's also disadvantages of um, of using her as well, because if you're using her, that means you don't have access to, to Karen Survive, and you know pluses and minuses right like you have to be a lot more careful if you are using lena and you have to make sure that you don't die because if you die you know it's it's going to be really hard like you have to um like you, it, it's just an immediate dps loss because you have to wait for karen to revive sorry uh yeah i mean if, even if you are using revive you have to wait for karen to revive and then uh you don't get the extra attack boost from from lena so it is a dps loss if you're using Karen instead of Lena, but if you're using Lena, then, you know, um, like you just lose access to revive. You have to be a lot more careful. And it's just pluses and minuses. It's not impossible to do it without Lena. You could still do it. Um, it just might be a little bit easier, but you have to be careful and make sure that your units don't die. So that's, that's all I have to say about, you know, um, it, how to progress and and how to tackle the new content and how to how to go about prioritizing that's what this video should be about like i i just thought of the best title so this video is about how to prioritize what to focus on with regards to the new update that's what this video is about so i hope i gave you guys some ideas if you have questions or comments leave a comment below and i will do my best to get back to you i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you guys next time take care now